All right, we're going to be talking about the infotainment system three that's available in most new GM Chevrolet vehicles. So first off, this is going to be the home screen. You're going to see audio, phone, navigation, the Wi-Fi hotspot, user settings, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. You go over one more. It's going to have trailering features, apps, on-store course, climate control, Sirius XM, my Chevrolet, and then a camera system. So we're going to go through all these course you go to the audio and that's going to be the radios AM FM XM of course USB Bluetooth and all that stuff you can have all these you can pick one of course then it's got the HD radio function so that's going to be the best quality radio you can or sound quality you can get check out the sound that's where you change your bass your mid-range and your treble your fade and balance and you can put it exactly where you want it or you can just zero it in and use the little arrows to put it about where you want. So you back out of that. Then of course you got your presets up here. You just hold them to set. So now that one's set to 98.1. When you do that you'll hear a little beep. Also you can tune straight to the station you want. So if you want to choose like a lo local radio station, here's 100.7. So you hit 1007 and it goes right to it. Also you go and you can uh, scan channels like that. All right, so go back to the home menu. You can either press it on this button right here or the touch screen right here. So we'll hit that. Next will be the phone options. Now this you would have to have a phone connected, but you can display text messages, recent phone calls, contacts, uh, the list of phones that's available. Of course, this is the new truck, so they're not available. There's nothing there. Then, of course, favorites. So favorite things that you do on your phone while you're driving and the keypad. Of course, when you do the keypad, there'll be an actual keypad, and you can just dial from here and go straight to that. Going back home. Next thing is navigation. So this will take a second to load. You can set up where your home is, where your work is, and it can learn your daily routine. So it will know that you're driving home or know that you're driving to work in the morning or whatever. But you can swipe around, move around. If you ever get lost, hit recenter and it will take you back to where you're at. You can also zoom out, zoom in. Got favorites. You can type in on the keyboard here, you know, I'll put in the address for Jack Burford. And then Eastern Bypass. And it pops it up right there where you don't even have to keep typing and you just hit search. And there you go. You can look at the different routes to get there. Of course, there's, we're 49 feet away from the front entrance. But it's all that simple. It's like working it on your phone, really. So you hit back and take you back there. You can zoom in, zoom out, like I said go back and then the Wi-Fi hotspot which the Wi-Fi is through uh, OnStar so like the right now the name says my Chevrolet the password on that one and then you can just connect your other devices to it and you can share the hotspot or you can make it where it's not shareable then the users that's really cool with the key fobs you can program each key fob to having a user so I could have one and then my wife could have one well that's going to remember number one where the seating position is, the radio station we had it on last one, whichever one was driving, um, and all that. So it's going to be like just a regular user on a computer or anything. It's going to remember your favorites and your settings and all you, all that you had on there. Then back to the settings. Now this is the settings for the system, apps, and vehicle. So that's everything about the truck. You can restore it to factory settings, updates, your voice settings, all that stuff, time and date. It's all real simple. You just touch to set the time. You gotta turn that off. Set the time. You just go in and fix that. But it's automatic update, so you don't really have to do that unless you notice it didn't update. Languages you can pick English, Spanish, or French. French can't talk. Your wee phone. wee. Wee wee. <laughs> you can add phones from here. Wi-Fi networks and hotspots. Privacy. Display settings, and that's going to be day night mode. Uh, calibrate the touch screen and you just go through and it should tell you to touch certain places or you can just turn the display off and then sounds that's going to be you know maximum startup volume which is really nice you click on that and you can have it cranked all the way up or all the way down it's really nice because if you're out today and you have the radio turned up jamming you don't want to be half asleep in the morning and have Conway Twitty, Twitty screaming in your ear or something <laughs> Then available touch uh, feedback. That way, it's going to beep or click whenever you hit that. A lot of people opt just to have that turned off. 
in voice. This is going to let it familiarize the system with your voice, learn your accents, how you talk, and then uh, also the voices on the uh, system itself. Favorites, just manage different favorites of the system, radio favorites and all that stuff. You can delete them, edit them from here and everything. And then updates, of course, preferences. That's going to be background, stuff like that. And then the about, that's just going to tell about the system and all that stuff. And this stuff right here is more for the dealership to know over the average person. And apps, that's just going to how you can control your apps. You can turn your Apple and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto off. You can uh, change the audio and the climate, navigation. You can adjust everything from in here. Then the vehicle, now that's going to be climate and air quality, rear defrost, uh, rapid heat elevated idle that's just going to make it idle a little bit higher to warm up a little bit quicker lighting and all that stuff the exterior lighting whenever the headlights stay on when you're walking up to the door you can make it longer or shorter hmm. and then which apple carplay and android auto you just hook your phone up to it agree to it and you can see a lot of the stuff on your phone on the screen hmm. so we won't go into detail on that trailering is really nice it shows you how to hook the trailer up, how to get the best fuel economy while pulling a trailer and all that stuff. But we'll leave that up for the future buyer of this. Then climate control, everything that's down here on the bottom is up on the screen. So, I mean, if you look, the climate, the temperature, you can change it up here with just the touch of a button. The fans, you can go up just by that and you can control, control where it points, like the, the air blowing or whatever. Yeah. Or you can do the sink from here as well. And then, of course, the camera system, which we went over that a little bit already. Mm -hmm. But it's it's right there so you can look exactly where you're at. Different views. Different, are different views, yeah. That's one of my favorite because if you've ever tried to back up to a trailer mm -hmm. hitch, that is it's the best. It's perfect, yeah. That so. is perfect. And then, of course, the My Chevy app which that's not going to be really available to us right now because nobody's purchased it's this right. truck exactly. yet. But uh, the My Chevy app's really cool. We won't accept any of this, but that's just the app that you get on your phone will connect to this truck, and then you can start your truck from anywhere in the country, whether you're on cool. uh, California and your truck's nice. here, so nice. what, or cool. car, whatever. Right. Wow. And then the Sirius XM, that's mm -hmm. how you, you know, you update all your update information on there. Everybody on radio. Nice. But yeah, so and then there, really cool. this is the split screen. The radio on one side and the navigation on the other and this oh, will okay, this cool. will work with your phones uh -huh. uh, on the apple carplay oh, android cool. auto as well okay. but yeah other than that that nice. is it's all Pretty simple much a quick run through yeah oh yeah it's simple it's easy to do the feedback it's not like mm -hmm. an old school system where you're hitting it and hitting right, it right, right. this one it's really it's very intuitive yes it, it is nice. so and everything is very well displayed cool but all right that's well, thank, you. thank you jj it's no problem i appreciate it